fire practice. Tell us about your knife, Nathan. It is a Tom Brown Tracker 4, also known as the Tom Brown Mini. It's uh, it's only about three inches, and I like it because it's a good complement to a large knife. Nice. Extremely functional. It does things that other knives don't do very easily. And uh, it's really good at food prep and uh, fire and, prep. And feather sticks. And so what I did was I went to a balsam fir and collected a bunch of balsam fir sap by popping the bubbles and getting them on the stick and then collecting the old man's beard and nice. impregnating that with sap. So what I'm going to try to do is light this with a fire steel and see if that will work. Sounds great. Maybe even a little bit of magnesium in there. Or from a ferro rod, shavings. I can smell it like it wants to go. Yeah, I should have a video on starting liking when I was in Oregon. There it goes. Okay, so as to whether it's yeah. maintainable like this, we'll just have to see how well that sap burns. Looks like it's burning pretty well to me. It's enough to get something going. Yeah. If you, you have can. enough feather sticks prepared, you can get something going that way. Well, check that stuff when we go through. So that is the balsam fur. Well, I thought it was Mark's fire. You said it was Mark's fire. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to get it. It's you, just took, you just took it over. All right. It's a group thing. No worries. Uh, this might be a bit. Uh, it's sorry. It's a little bit heavy for this. No, don't worry about it. Um, I just wanted to see if it would work. It, it does flashed, work. It works good, man. Flashed up. It flashed up, but it's. You need some uh, feather sticks and more, more of this right here. Yeah. I use these. These are what I use yeah, I after I get the flash going because after the flash going it doesn't take much to heat those up. They're so skinny. Yeah. Well, so let's get some kindling down here. Let's get this uh, baby on the go. What do you what do you what do you want to what did you want to do, Mark? You want to go with those little? Uh, yeah, I might try the uh, the joke. The uh, yeah, go. Oh, leave the camera running. Great. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's that's nice to see that something actually works. I, uh, I've done it before, that was the first time on film in front of people, because usually it doesn't work out that way. In front of my... Yeah, you know, it's like, hey, I got this, then it's like <laughs> nothing happened. Right? Usually when you want it, something to work like that, it doesn't, <laughs> just because you want it to. <laughs> it's got so stuck. It could work for you a thousand times. Look at you with the Rambo First Blood Knife. Yeah, I thought I'd bring it out for a spin. I'll show you the other one. I got this super cheap on eBay. I just wanted to see what they were all about. See if they were actually... It's been sitting in a box for months. Alright dude, I've got some fairly cool stuff to burn. 
Thank you for some. letting me test that out. Yeah, that's nice. nice. I don't know how I'm going to start the fire next time we go out. Dude, every fucking idea. If, if I, if I spent a little bit more time on the prep for that, I would have gotten it to work. Can you do me a favor and ask the camera? Oh, you're on. Sorry, I didn't realize you were still on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Huh? <sighs> Yes. Huh? No, I said a bad word. I just thought the camera was up. running. Oh, yes, yeah, nice. Yeah. Let's see, ferro rod or. Ferro rod. Eh, we'll use ferro rod. I got Chaga. Right here. I'm going to go with the ferro rod. So I got uh, dryer lint and one of Mark's uh, cotton balls soaked in Joe wax. Smoke in the face, every time. Smoking like fire's way of getting back at you for burning it. Okay, you've got some heat to go take those. Swabs got really nice Yeah, they burn really nice. Yeah, I like them. Mark's a freaking genius. Okay, that's some, some middle of the road stuff, huh? I'm getting bigger and bigger now. That's a good flame. That's got some heat on it. Yeah. There you go. Of course, some will say, don't just throw it on there! But it's not going out, so. Let's <coughs> I think we just, we could probably be stuck with some of these others, just kind of squared off on the file. Wow! Look at that! That's cool. I hope you can see that, that's all. Smoke always travels that hill. Well... No, you're pretty much right, wherever your wind has to blow up the side of something, so yeah. It doesn't always do that, though. Um... Especially with funky wood. I think it'll be a lot to smoke. probably get these, these guys doing a lot of things. So what we can do is set these up here to let them dry. You got white man fire? White man fire? Okay. Let me just put these guys across. There's enough to get Just make like a shelf for yeah, white man fire is huge. With big like old logs. I like to think of it as people fire. Lunch fire. I'm starving. Indian <laughs> fires small with pork, with sticks. And white yeah, man but fires. They're probably burning a lot more efficiently than my dump and dump method. Huh? Well, we just kind of threw everything on there, so. Yeah. Piece of wood Maybe that. Nice. 
board shot. So what we did is we piled up a bunch of rocks going around and then threw a bunch of fuel on. This big Rambo knife. Make some lunch out here. Oh, nothing worse. Ah. Uh, Spike was choices you make. That's good, it's got a dryer rack on it, bro. I like yeah. that. Yeah, look at this. This is, this is a good fire. It's been in hot tonight. It's been quite hot to Yeah, it's probably high enough, dude. I'm just gonna put some down the bottom to go. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. There we go. Well done, man. That's fine. Bravo, Mark, on the Joe Wax Gone Balls. Just before whatever ignites in there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The wind's blowing the flame right up on the side. Cool. Well, I guess we'll bring it back when we get some lunch going.